Hey, what's up you guys? So I am currently inside of Ryland's childhood bedroom. <laughs> it's awkward. <laughs> so we decided to come to his hometown for the holidays, which is Colorado. It is so much different from where I come from. It's snowing, it's cute, all the neighbors are nice, but it also is home to one of the scariest hotels in the world. <laughs> This is a story that a lot of people are talking about today, about the haunted Stanley Hotel in Estes Park. Lucy was a woman who was found living here in the basement, and later that winter they found her frozen to death. Lucy, was that you? You willing to come out and let us know that you're around? Right in mid-sentence. <gasps> I have tears in my eyes. It's just creepy. It's called the Stanley Hotel, and it's actually the hotel that The Shining was based on. Here's Johnny! No! Have you ever been there? No. Well, we're going there tomorrow, but we'll talk about that later. Shane. But before we get to that, your sister is obsessed with ghosts and obsessed with the Stanley Hotel. She's been talking about it to me ever since I met her, but she also thinks that your house is haunted. Come play with us, Danny. But I have to say, when she told me that this house was haunted, I didn't really believe her. And then I slept here all night. There was noises in the walls. It sounded like people were running around up and down the stairs. It sounded like there were scratches on the ceiling. There's a lot of people in this house. Whatever, I think the house is haunted, but we'll get the true story from your sister later. But also, I kind of wanted to make a video here just because I feel like this is weird, <laughs> but also cool. Like, it's the holidays. I'm here in your childhood house <laughs> with your family. Like, I asked your family if it was okay to film, but I've never done this before. I'm nervous. I am a little bit too, because I don't know what, like, my mom will say on the spot when you're filming her. I want to interview your mom. <laughs> Jesus. This could go really bad. <laughs> don't make them hate you. This is going well. <sighs> Alright, let's talk to your sister about the demons in this house. <laughs> Can we come in? Hi! Hi! Welcome to my YouTube channel! Your room is amazing! Oh my god! Oh, that was my best life. Now we're in my crisis life. <laughs> she used to live in Hawaii, and as you can tell, she still wishes she was there. We do our best in imagination. Okay, so you think this house is haunted? Oh, definitely. Well, there's faces that appear a lot, like in Snapchats. Like, you know, like when you do a Snapchat filter and it's like, try it with a friend. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah! And I have a lot of friends here that don't really exist. But that's how my life is here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Let's just Snapchat, who cares? Um, all right, here, do you want to hold the camera? Yeah. All right, so tell me about your experiences in this house. Do you want my full backstory of how the ghost got here? You brought the ghost here? One of them. My main ghost, her name is Angie. There's this mountain about 45 minutes away from here called Lookout Mountain. People go there and like do crazy kid things and... <laughs> Got it. So I took a picture by the sun, and in this picture, this girl's hair is all over me and like her whole body figure is next to me. And then I didn't really think anything of it. I was like, oh, it's just a picture. And then Ryan was here and I just got like really, really scared, like out of nowhere. And I was like, oh, Angie's here, Angie's here. I could just feel her. And I didn't know why like her name was Angie, it just was. I would have sleep paralysis like three times a week at least. And it was always the same dream of me in a cave with my hands tied behind my back and I couldn't move and it was just this black figure with like her hair. Oh my god. And she would just oh my god. tell me like all night, she's like, take me home, take me home. Okay, I need to interject because there's a few things I don't even know if you've thought about. So number one, it is true that ghosts can attach themselves to people, but the one main thing <laughs> that every victim has in common is ghosts like to attach themselves to lonely people. Oh, that's me. Sure. But that's what I'm saying, like you've made a bunch of jokes about being lonely, but is that true? Like, are you actually lonely or is it- Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very. Now, when you had the encounter with Angie, were you at like a peak of loneliness? Yes, so I dropped out of college before I even started. All of my friends went to college, so all of my friends were out living these great lives, and I was here by myself. So it was a time of peak sadness. So I think she like kind of was with me and just going with me. She's like, oh, we're going on a fun little vacation, like me and my friend. I, <laughs> like I Fuck. This is getting really dark. Okay, keep going. <laughs> I took her back to the sign that I took the picture at her and I was like, okay, like you're home. You can go home now, like we're here. And then I haven't had a dream since. But I think she still comes back to check up on me. Like we're still like homies. Well, show me your proof. 
So this is gonna be the picture that you took where you felt like she was standing next to you? Yes. Okay, so that is a picture of you standing in front of the stop sign or something? So then we noticed that this girl's hair and like her whole side of a figure is all next to me. But I was the only person there because my friend was taking the picture. There she is. And it's obviously not my hair because I don't have black crazy hair and you can see like her little- and that's Oh my god! That's, Wait, that's the figure what? I see in my dreams. So she was just- she had this like crazy black I, hair. Have you seen this picture? <laughs> no. You um, haven't seen this? I mean, if I have, it's been years. Oh my god! Let me Go see back it. to it. Oh <laughs> my god. That is crazy. So this was like maybe November, December, and a few months back in like May of that year, a girl got murdered and thrown off the thing so it made it look like she committed suicide, but it was actually a murder, but they never found her murderer. So you think that was her? Oh yeah. So then I started researching like deaths that had happened on this mountain, and the girl that fell off the mountain, her name was Angela. <laughs> I didn't know that before I started telling Ryland that Angie was in our house. How? How? Okay, first of all, how have you not been telling me all about this? You know I'm not into He's the ghost stuff. You can't look at that picture and tell me that's not the scariest thing you've ever seen. See, majority of these people in this zip code just think I'm mentally unstable, so they don't believe me. What about the Snapchats? <laughs> no, <laughs> this is when it gets good. Okay, so when I call her sometimes she shows up. Angie! Oh my god! And then... Angie, stick your tongue out if I'm gonna be alone forever. Oh <laughs> my gosh! I love that one. At least because if she's gonna be my friend, at least she's honest. Morgan. She's honest. Morgan, this is not okay. I know! Then I was thinking maybe it's just the two things on that, but then I was trying it in other places and she shows up other places too. Like, she's just kind of everywhere all the time. Help! Do you bitch you got a cough or something? Seriously. Chill. Oh my god. It happens all the time. I am so freaked out right now. Wait, I want to try. Oh my god, okay, I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, I usually- say I'm cold. You think we're crazy. Yeah, oh my god, 100%. Even our parents probably don't believe you. No. I believe you. That's because you guys are both crazy. I didn't 15 minutes ago, and now I do. Angie. Angie. You look crazy. <laughs> Angie. Maybe it's only when it's you. Hear it, you try it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, here's why I think it's real. If it was just like, oh, my dresser looks like a face or something, then it would do it every time. But the fact that it doesn't do it every time, and it did for a split second, and then you screamed and it went away. There she is. She's here. She's right there. Hi. You're so, like, comfortable with it. Yeah. <laughs> I think she protects me kind of, and maybe she thinks I just need a friend, and I think she wants to be my friend. I <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go! <laughs> Have fun with your friend! You forgot how, um, how I know she's here. How? I think she really likes the bathroom. And sometimes I'll hear like tappings, but it's always like the same tap, it's like... Every time. And it used to really freak me out, but it does anymore. Well, it's freaking me out, so uh, I'm gonna go. You have fun with your friend. <laughs> and um, I will see you later tonight. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, Shane, are you ready to interview my mom? What are you gonna interview me? Let me get rid of my Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you like me? <laughs> no, seriously, though, what are your honest thoughts of me being with your son? Well, at first I was like, who is this guy? But but now we've learned just, we love Shane. What do you mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean at first you were nervous? Oh, I was just nervous. Wait, what did you think I was? Like a crazy person? No, I, I just... <sighs> <laughs> this is not going how I expected. But now you like me. I love you. Well, since I started dating Ryland, now he's kind of become a YouTuber. What are your thoughts on that? 
I think it's great. No, I think it's great. I'm proud of his little daily updates. Little? <laughs> How would you feel about us getting married? Oh, I've tried to imagine that actually. Would we have it in Colorado? Would we have it in California? I've already gone there, yeah. Really? Well, yeah. You thought about it? Well, of course I have. Wouldn't you? Well, yeah. yeah you guys are, yeah, you guys are, you guys even, every once in a while bring up kids and. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think would be the bride? Okay, another question. So your daughter seems to think that this house is haunted. Our house is not haunted. She has a vivid imagination. <laughs> the team. Hmm. <laughs> well, you want me to tell you, this um, house was built on an Indian burial ground. What? We read something in the documents that say that at one point this was Indi like an Indian burial ground or something and then the railroads bought it and I should see if I could find that. Are you serious? I don't really want Morgan to know this. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Look at her face. This. Are you serious? Yeah. You're kidding. No, I'm really not kidding. There was something about, I thought they mentioned like this was Indian burial grounds and then the railroad purchased it for something. We'll have to ask Dad if he remembers that. You're joking. I'm not joking. There is one strange thing. Ollie will not go past those stairs over there to go to the restroom. Like, he will not go down. Well, wait, let's try it. Let's get the dog and let's see if he'll go into that bathroom. Okay. Let's try it. Let's try it. Come here, Oliver. See, so he really wants his treats. Yo, oh, oh, no. Did you already get it? Okay, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Scared. Yeah, he doesn't go down there. Oliver, come here. Come on. You are cool. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, it's so sad. Oh my god. <laughs> come here. Go for it, Ollie. Oh, oh, wait, he's terrified. So you think it's in that bathroom? Well, just, he won't pass this. He won't go past here, yeah. Maybe it's their old school pictures he doesn't like. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to say though, honestly, like this area of the house is a hundred times colder than the rest of the house. Yeah, it is immediately seven degrees cooler. Well, since we're looking around the house, want to show us all of Ryland's old embarrassing pictures? There used to be quite a few pictures in here. Oh, oh yeah, he always had to wear Hollister. <laughs> He'd make me go in that stinky, loud store. <laughs> yes, Same with Morgan. Moms. I love when you just throw Ryan over your shoulder like he's a rag doll. <laughs> when did you know he was gay? Actually, I've kind of always known it. Even my best friend, we used to talk about it and she'd say, you know he's so gay, right? <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> oh my God. So this was Ryan. Huh? Where? He would have kicked my ass. Is that you with your shirt tied up like a hooker? Yeah. <laughs> you had a chubby little face, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. <Dread. laughs> well, your childhood was better than mine. <laughs> How would you rate me on a scale of one to 10 looks wise? Shane, that's uh, really like aggressive. I'm curious. He's like a 10. A 10? You've got height, you can pick him up like a rag doll. Yeah, you're perfect. I think I'm gonna marry your mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god, that was great. It was? Stop! Why did you guys hire somebody to do no, this? No, I'm really scared. Stop! <laughs> Wait, what the? F what is that? Did you guys hire I'm somebody? Okay, 
those are house settling noises. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's that that was a demon. bang and a thunder and a crash. Stop! You guys hired me. Wait, Marco. what the hell? Who is doing that? I'm not kidding. Wait, wait, wait. What's What the hell was that? I'm thinking you hired Marco. Or no, I didn't no. hire anybody. Then, okay. Now, come on. Things are moving around upstairs. Good luck sleeping there, come on. <laughs> I feel like they're pranking us now because your mom brought up the Indian burial ground thing and now the house is fucking moving and things are happening. Can you guys like stop talking? No, not really. Can you? That's me. <laughs> oh my god. I, do you want to go upstairs? <laughs> no. no. I should find where it said it was an Indian burial ground. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> So it's later in the night, and we have been watching a bunch of videos about the Stanley Hotel. Have you ever been there? No. She has always wanted to go there. She's begged us over and over, time and time again. Well, what do you know about the hotel? Um, everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's this room, room 217. Stephen King, when he stayed there, and he would have like these nightmares. And in his dream that night on this bed, Stephen King said he had one of the worst nightmares of his life. That a fire hose from the hotel uh, chased, was chasing his son through the hallway till it started uh, constricting his son and trying to kill him. Just crazy thing, like him stabbing his own kids and like see all these figures and like the doors would slam. Do they even book out room 217? I think it's like a crazy, crazy wait list and like very expensive. So only like special people stay there and you have to wait like a year. But well, what if I told you that tomorrow we are going to the Stanley Hotel and we are staying in room 217? <laughs> if I don't get dragged across the room... <laughs> wait, 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 you <laughs> want to be dragged across the room? <laughs> I, if we're paying to go to the hotel, I don't want a ghost tour. I want to be dragged by my feet down a hallway. <laughs> Can we take a Ouija board? No. Oh, that's no. absolutely where I cut this. Why? Thing. All right. So tomorrow, Stanley Hotel. Here we come. I hope you guys return. <laughs> that was the scariest <laughs> thing ever. No, seriously. You ready to go ghost hunting? No. Is that what that's the room? No. Today's canceled. <laughs> oh my God! It's a night vision camera. Okay, we are only one mile. You've been waiting your whole life. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so ready. Historic Stanley Hotel.